High atop Hawaii's Mauna Kea volcano, a group of scientists is tracking something strange at the center of the galaxy. The bizarre behavior of a pack of large stars crowded closely together. These stars are accelerating wildly, slingshot forward at fantastic speeds. There's the stars. I don't believe you. <laughs> These stars are moving at three million miles per hour. Does that? I mean, these speeds are so so much higher than we can comprehend. Only one thing could be responsible for this unusual motion: the primal power of gravity. It's the force that created our solar system, and yet also forged realms so dark and mysterious they are beyond our imagination. On Earth, gravity is the familiar force, the one that keeps our feet on the ground. No one knows it quite like Joe Kittinger. Since 1949, this man in the red bandana has carved out a niche for himself in the sky, defying gravity and setting record after record in flight. As one of the original U.S. Air Force test pilots, he had the right stuff before anyone else. Joe's specialty? Going where no man has gone before. Kittinger was the first man to balloon solo across the Atlantic. He completed more high-altitude balloon flights than anyone in history. Heights don't bother me at all. Uh, I love it from up here. He led the way into space itself. In the days before the astronauts, Kittinger was part of an Air Force team studying the effects of high altitude on the human body. At 32 years of age, he was chosen for a very dangerous mission. You've tried to anticipate everything that could happen. Uh, you train for all the emergencies, but there's always the unknown element. So if a pressure suit fails, you die uh, very quickly. If the stabilization system didn't work, uh, there's a good chance you're going to die also. That day, August 6th, 1960, Kittinger's job was to rise all the way into the stratosphere. Three hours after takeoff, his balloon finally cleared the 100,000 foot mark. Kittinger became the first human to look back on the Earth from this altitude. And then I had 46 different things I had to do to make the jump. The last item was to stand up, say a prayer, and hit one button to start the last cameras going and then jump overboard. And then he stepped into the void. Kittinger would free fall for 20 miles. Four and a half minutes of pure adrenaline. It was the highest parachute jump ever. Pulled by gravity, he became the first man to accelerate beyond the speed of sound without a vehicle. Oh, 
gravity is the attraction of two bodies in space. In this case, Joe at 190 pounds, the Earth at 6 billion trillion tons. <laughs>